Your Excellency, we are doing this uh, interview to all the alumni bishops on the occasion for the occasion of uh, the Golden Jubilee of the Collegio. First, uh, when did you stay here and uh, to which school did you go and uh, what course you took? Yes, uh, first of all, I'm Bishop Jose Oliveros. Uh, I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Maloros. I studied here in starting in 1975. I was first, I, at that time, I was uh, a priest from the Diocese of Lucena. And uh, actually I started my studies not here in the uh, Eternal City of Rome, but I started my studies in Spain. So I started my doctorate program in theology at the Facultad Teológica del Norte de España in Burgos uh, in 1973. And then afterwards I went to the States, I stayed there for a year, and when I came back, instead of continuing in Spain, because we lost our scholarship, I came to, I asked my bishop if I could study in Rome and stay at the Colegio Filipino. So I arrived in Rome at the holy year of 1975. 1975 was declared a holy year by the late uh, Pope Paul VI. It was the very a uh, momentous event because many pilgrims came, including pilgrims from the Philippines. And it was a very opportune time of starting uh, my life in Rome in the, uh, in the Holy Year that was declared by the Holy Father. So I continued my doctorate program. I studied at the Angelicum University uh, because I already started a doctorate program in Spain. I only was asked to uh, sit down in several subjects, just take one subject uh, as an obligatory course, and then after that, I could already uh, write my thesis. By the way, I have already a topic for my thesis, because I was already given a topic by my moderator in the Faculta Teológica del Norte de España, uh, Don Luis uh, Fernández on structuralism and, and uh, theology. And so I presented that to the university and because it is something about a method uh, uh, properly in linguistics, I chose someone who would be able to help me in uh, modern topics like this. And so I asked Father Alfred Wilder to be my moderator and so he agreed, and uh, we have a very good uh, uh, mentor-disciple uh, relationship uh, in the course of not only uh, two, uh, two for the period of three years. No? So I was here from 1975 to 1977, two years. I had to go to Germany because I had to learn German. My topic is uh, pioneered by an author called Günter Schiebe, a former Jesuit. He is a German, so I have to learn the language in order to read his books, which are not translated into English or to any language that I know except one, the book that is entitled The Structuralismus und Christentum. It's translated as Structuralism and, uh, and Christianity. So I was in Spain for four years, very nice years, <laughs> in, you know, in Spain, in, in Germany for four years. And then while I was in Germany, I was writing the thesis. So every time I, I finish a chapter, I would go down to Rome, confer with my moderator, and then go back to Germany. So after I finished writing it, it took four years because I was also working uh, with the U.S. military in Frankfurt so that I will have a place to stay and a means of sustenance while I was in Germany. <clears throat> so after I had written all the chapters, I came back to Rome, presented my finished, uh, finished thesis to my moderator, and he said, let us revise this a little bit. And he said, and I said, okay, he said, revision, maybe it will take only some time. It took another year. So I was here for another year from 1981 to 1982, after which I was able to defend my thesis and in 1982 I went home.
So those were three very interesting years in the Colegio Filipino. Uh, I, I, not only I, I learned from my mentor and from the different uh, subjects that I took at the university, but I learned the, the way of life of the Romans, the Italians, especially increasing in our faith. Uh, listening to the Holy Father, first at Pope Paul VI, and then uh, later on at John Paul II. I was not in Rome when, uh, during the short reign of John Paul I, I was in Germany, but I was already in Rome during the reign of John Paul II. So it was a very enriching experience to be close to the Holy Father, Subumbra Petri, as you say it. And together with my uh, contemporaries who were residing also in the seminary, most of whom became a bishop, became a bishop like myself. Your fond memory of your stay here? My fond memories, many fond memories, no? Uh, especially when you go around. <laughs> <laughs> there was a joke among us that uh, if you don't get any doctorate, at, at least you can get a doctorate in tourism. <laughs> and I have fond memories because of the camaraderie, because of friendship. Uh, uh, we have, uh, for example, Bishop Villena and myself are very good friends. We go around together, we visit places together, we have common friends. Uh, those are very fond memories. And especially the life of Kamagadari here in the college. No? So we know that this is our temporary home. We try to be patient with each other. We try to live together peaceably and amicably and uh, driven by the common purpose uh, to finish our studies and uh, be of service to our local lives. And your message uh, to the student priest? Well, uh, to the present student priest of the College of Filipino, I can only say keep up by the faith, <laughs> to push your faith, <laughs> and keep up the good work. No? Be faithful to your identity as a priest, never forget that. So faithfulness is uh, always uh, a value that we must cherish, as well as have a sense of mission. You know what, uh, what the driving uh, force that I had is that I have a mission. The bishop sent me here to study. I must do it and I must finish the task that was given me. Fortunately, even it took some time, I was able to finish my studies. I fulfilled the mission given to me by my bishop. So the same thing I would, uh, I would uh, advise, admonish our present uh, college of priests of that kind of sense of mission while they are here in Rome. And lastly, your message for, on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the Colegio Filipino. Uh, jubilees or anniversaries are always opportunities for thanking God's grace and God's fidelity. So thanks be to God that uh, the Colegio Filipino has lived up to 50 years. You know, we are also celebrating the 50th anniversary of our diocese two years from now. So the college is celebrating next year, now, 2011. We are celebrating on uh, the next year, 2012. And uh, my wish for the college is that it be really a home for priests in Rome. Uh, a home not only uh, for academics, but for uh, the community of uh, brothers and the priesthood that live together, driven by the same call from the Lord and the sense of mission for the church.